Sorry, I want to talk about this really, really badly, but the best way to introduce people to it is to read this tweet. If I don't find it, I'm going to count to like 10 in my head. If I don't have it by then. Thankfully, the Kiwi Farms is fast enough right now that there's actually a non-zero chance I'm going to find this in time. If I said, oh, okay. I'm going to ask somebody for help real quick. Oh, here it is. Okay, I got it. This one. Sorry, I died on stream again. Uh, this guy. Okay, so this guy. This, okay. This man. This poor man. Richard Schrache on X says, I swear I keep hitting Yiddish, hearing Yiddish under the floors in my New York apartment. I live on ground level and we have no basement. I'm not crazy. There are Jews living under my apartment. I hear them like it's digging or something. For the record, I live at ground level. We do not have a basement. Now, this man is obviously crazy. Obviously, there's not tunnel rat Jews digging in the basement, digging a basement under his apartment building. That is completely insane. There is no way that's happening. Except it was happening. The Jews are digging tunnels under New York City. How? Why? For what reason? What nefarious purpose are the Jews digging tunnels? But they are. And nobody knows why. Nobody, there's no, nobody understands why. Uh, so there is a famous building in Manhattan called uh, the, the Shabbat? Shabbat's iconic headquarters. So the Shabbat are like a weird sect of Judaism. Um, they're called Messianic Jews. So if you don't know, Christians started out as a, as a form of Messianic Jew, where they believe that Jesus was a, the Messiah that was prophesied in, in the Torah. Um, however, Jesus is not the only m Messiah that has come around. Uh, people believe that Bar Kokhba, uh, who led the revolts against Emperor Hadrian and the Roman Empire, and who was massacred and re resulted in the diaspora of Jewish people across the world, some people believed at the time that he was the Messiah, uh, but also these guys in the Chabad uh, headquarters in um, in Manhattan believe that some guy like in the 80s was the Messiah. So they believe that that, that site that they're at is a, is very holy. And the, the Messiah uh, told them to expand his headquarters and make the Chabad bigger. Um, and so they, apparently the, the explanation being given is that they literally have decided to expand his headquarters by digging tunnels underneath of their headquarters and around the block and stuff. Very strange, very strange. Um, Menachem Schneerson, which is a very weird name. And it's very close to Menachem Sneedson, which would be much funnier. Uh, but he is apparently the messiah to these people who are very orthodox and uh, New York State has discovered that these Jews is digging tunnels and shit and they don't know what the fuck is happening. They just know that that is against the civic policies of the city and they're filling in the fucking tunnels. But the Jews are not having it. They are pissed. So let's let's, let's see it. This is a tunnel that the, one of the entrances was behind wood paneling inside the uh, I think this is them tearing up the wood paneling. Dude, it's so scary. This anti-Semitism. These police are roughhousing these poor Jewish men. In broad fucking daylight, these fucking Gestapo, Stasi motherfuckers, goose-stepping around the streets of New York, oppressing Jews. In broad- I can't believe it. We need to do something about New York City. It's become- it's become the- the sport- the sports pa past, okay?
I'm not sure why they're getting arrested for... I think they don't want the tunnel open. Um, I, th I think... Is this the one where the guy's climbing out of the sewer? They're, like, escaping from the, the tunnel because the police are, have in, invaded it. I don't know what this one is. I haven't watched through all these yet. There's, like, protests going on. All the Jews are really pissed off that the, the Goyim are shutting down their tunnels. Where's the one of the guy escaping the tunnel? You can see the riots and stuff, the confrontation. Oh, this guy. Here he is. Hey, Rabbi, what you doing? Why are you climbing out of the sewers? What are you doing? No. <laughs> Back to Israel I go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Uh, this is them welding that gate shut, by the way. You can hear them cry? Yeah, they're crying because their, their, their poor innocent tunnel is being filled in. One of them... Is this the one where they... There's a very specific one, and if I can't find it, I'm, I'm gonna have to find it. Uh, the, the bed. If you know, you know. If you know, don't spoil chat. This guy's arrested. They're really pro. They're pissed. No, you will not fill in my tunnels, Goyam. Why, why, why? 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 You should not. Don't you wish you were a Jewish so you could participate in these shenanigans? I, if there was a if, so, okay, listen. If I was in New York City, I would join the Tunnel Jews because that's fun. Give me a pickaxe. I'm gonna go diggy hole. I'm gonna diggy hole while playing diggy hole while digging a hole. Where? <laughs> I was just reminded of this. Hold up. Oh, here we go. Snakes rule. We're the tunnel snakes. That's us. And we rule. Rule. Tunnel snakes rule. We're the tunnel snakes. That's us. And we rule. Rule. Tunnel snakes rule. We're the tunnel snakes. That's us. And we rule. Rule. Tunnel. You know, tunnel snakes rule sounds a lot like Jews rock. You know what I mean? There's a, there's a there's a there's a little bit of a connection. There's a mental wiring happening between these two concepts. I don't know. That could just be me. Where the fuck is the mattress? Is what I don't know. One of these has to be the mattress. I mean, let's skip ahead because I think someone points it out. And my site's loading sneedy enough that I might be able to get away with it. Um, hold up. So I'm going to find a picture. Aha! It's on Reddit, of course. My first instinct, of course, should have been to go to Reddit. Oh, it's on New York City. It has 600... Oh, fuck you. You can't use a VPN. Hoffman can't send you advertisements if you use a VPN. We're just a poor little innocent startup company. We can't afford to not show you advertisement. You gotta go use a VPN. Kill a VPN. This Reddit that has a, a picture of a stained mattress from a tunnel snake tunnel uh, is asking me to get vaxxed. No. No, New York City subreddit. I don't think I will. Okay, listen. They pulled this out of the tunnel. You tell me, chat. Why is this blood-stained mattress getting pulled out of a tunnel snake tunnel? Huh? Explain to me this. 
What possible use for a blood-stained mattress would these nice Jewish men have in their tunnels? Like, they're, yeah, they're rushing that out. The, the tunnel's going to get filled in, but they're getting ahead of the, the controversy and pulling out the blood-stained mattress. What, what an interesting spot for that stain, too. Imagine if you're laying on a bed, right, and there's that stain. What part of the body would that be coming out of? It's either your head or your crotch, right? Am I wrong? Because it's either it's at the is at the the if you're sitting midway through, there's either there's one of two ways. Like if your butt is on the edge of the bed for some reason, like for some reason if your legs were hanging off the bed and your position at the end of the mattress, then your crotch would be there. Or if you're laying down and that's where your head was, then that would also be where the butt is. It's just weird. Just weird. This blood stained mattress from this Jewish tunnel. What the, I wonder what it's for. Maybe, oh, maybe, okay, uh, alternative idea. The Jews are digging tunnels to help end the homelessness crisis in New York City. And the reason why it's stained is that a lot of the people sleeping there just have really poor hygiene. And sometimes, you know, it gets stained with like hair grease. Maybe it's like shit from their ears. But it's just stained because that's where, you know, that's where the homeless are sleeping that they're taking care of. Because it's a nonprofit type thing, they can't either that or it's a rape dungeon. So that's but that's retarded, you know. Rape dungeons are an anti conspiracy anti Semitic conspiracy, uh, unlike Jewish tunnels under New York City, which are not an anti Semitic conspiracy. That's actually real. <laughs> there are those strange a uh, baby blood. It could be. It could just be uh, nice, healthy, wholesome circumcisions that are happening on that mattress, uh, which is a completely legal thing. By the way, hold up, let me find something real quick. Um, wait, I found it. It's a really hard word. Okay, so if you are a New Yorker, heaven, heaven help you. Guess what? You are in a Jewish house. You literally live, if you live in Manhattan, you live in a Jewish house. Of creating holy space. Wait, the wrong browser, sorry. Ba -ba -ba. The idea of creating holy space is really an idea that people generally appreciate today. One of the prohibited activities on the Sabbath is something called carrying. The rabbis realized the difficulty in enjoying the Sabbath if you weren't allowed to carry outside of the house. And therefore they created a construct in which the area in which the Jews lived was enclosed first by a wall or a fence and then eventually by a symbolic wall or fence which was created by setting up two poles and a string on the top of the two poles. And that imaginary wall served to religiously enclose the neighborhood and to allow Jews to carry within that neighborhood. What's amazing is that in 1970, there were Here. under 10 Arubs I want to show you the map. all of North Arub on the Upper West Side is now the Arub that this encloses area. almost all of Manhattan from... This area of Manhattan is, by their laws, a Jewish home. It is encircled in the fish transparent fish line Arub. And according to rabbinical texts, this is their actual home, and therefore they're allowed to carry things in this area because it's the, where they live. 
So if you live in this area, you live in a Jewish house by what this man just said. Um, I don't know why that one part is cut out. It might be like an industrial sector. Maybe that's where all the black people live, so they don't want them. They're like, oh, fuck it. Uh, draw a line around them. Um, I'm not familiar with the, the demographics of New York City, so I'm not sure what's in that little area, but very interesting. I, I appreciate... This is why Jews are really, really good at law, by the way, because the Torah is a very small book. It's a... Uh, and it's the definitive word of God in the in the Jewish religion. So, and it's a very strict set of rules. There is no forgiveness, right? There's no grace. So, if you want to be Jewish, you have to follow the rules. Well, it's a short book, and it contains every rule you have to follow. But then there's caveats, and you wonder, well, it says I can't carry, but can I carry like in a fenced area? Enter the other books of of Judaism. Like the Talmud, there are several books like this that are a part of the uh, Jewish expanded universe that explain the rules a little bit better. And the rules are effectively debated in a legalistic way. It's sort of all these books that are like writers to the Torah are like case law in Jewish rabbinical law. And they explain all the nitty gritty and the very precise rules. So you wonder why... They're such proficient lawyers, it's because they're raised on a religion from birth that is effectively just a series of 4,000-year-old of case law books about how to follow the Torah. Um, and if you live in Manhattan, you live in a Jewish home, just so you know. You're also, you're also uh, living above their tunnels. <laughs> and there might be a circumcision happening under you at any time. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.